So I had an inquiry about how I achieved and how I am playing PS4 in virtual reality. Boom, as you can see. I'm displaying it on my tablet because my Note 4 has a better camera. So I'd like you guys to get the best quality in this video. As you can see, Remote Play, which has been developed by Twisted. Much respect and thank you very much for all your hard work. Um, we have the PS4 being streamed to my PC, Windows 10, and on my Android device, I have what's being displayed there, being displayed on my Android device here, which if it was my Note 4, I'd put it into the headset I have, if I can find it right here yet, my Google headset, stick it in here, good to go, and... So the program I am using, I'm going to back out here, is called Trinus VR. And it can be found in the Google Play Store. There's a trial and a purchasable version. I'd recommend buying this. Now, you also need the client on installed on your PC. Once you do that, you click this little button right here. And then on the tablet itself, boom, as you can see, whatever I have as my main display that I, I've brought up like this, that's there. If I click on here, this will be brought up instantly. If I click on there. That will be switched to that as the main screen. As you can see, very good graphics. Basically, no delay. A little bit of delay. But not even much of a delay. But a recommendation I can make is if you go back before you actually connect, you go into your Wi-Fi settings here. Trinus has a feature if you have Wi-Fi built into your desktop or your PC itself, you can actually connect directly to your PC's Wi-Fi card, avoiding your router, which can eliminate a lot of delay, and which I wasn't doing just now showing you guys. So what I would do is I would actually connect to that. I'm going to type in what I have as my password. And then when I come back and show you guys, it should be obtaining IP address. Now, if you have a trouble obtaining your IP address, I noticed if you temporarily disable your firewall and your antivirus, all of a sudden obtaining IP address should end up going right through, if I'm not mistaken. Let's give this a second. Click this again. Cancel. I'm going to give it another shot. Oh, it's connected, as you can see. Never mind. So it connected. Just like I said, if you have to turn off your antivirus and firewall just for a split second, you can turn it back on right after. And it should stay connected now that you've established your connection. And now if you connect to Trinus VR using this method, with more of a direct connection, I'll call it, to your PC, avoiding your router, you will get a more seamless connection. Just to show delay, clicking that button, nothing. Switch to the display settings. The only thing is, and I would hope to encourage Twisted to add on to this is some kind of control with the accelerometer. Trinus has some kind of incorporation that you can use the mouse controls itself to be controlled by your phone's accelerometer, but it's not quite incorporated with remote play and everything, so it kind of have to be worked on, but anyways, that's a work in progress. But as you can see, this is how we've gotten it done. It's doing the job for me, can't complain. And if you're interested, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Say thanks to Twisted. And I'll try and put up some download links just to kind of show you where you need to go to get all this working. All right? Have a great day, boys.
Take care and have fun.